guys, welcome to Karen's Corner. Today I'm going to make something, well, I'm going to attempt to make something that I've never done before. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> um, it has something to do with one of my collections. If you watch more of my videos, you might have noticed that every Saturday I have a collection video. Uh, in my banner it still says Disney videos, but it is Disney and other collections. I collect Disney stuff because I just love it almost everything <laughs> but that's not one of my bigger collections i just collect a little bit of that but i do collect alice in wonderland so i do have like over here on my desk of course alice in wonderland disney items <laughs> i also collect um cinderella in her pink dress items and uh, recently i started collecting little red riding hood so my daughter made something for me <laughs> are you ready for this it is not a cute little red riding hood it is a creepy little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. She just sat down a few days ago and um, she said, I'm going to draw you something. And then she came up with this. It's so creepy. The only thing she looked up was a wolf's head and the rest she just drew just like that. You know, my gosh. So uh, I thought it was amazing. And she thinks that little Red Riding Hood says, hi, granny. <laughs> something creepy like that so i want to make a creepy forest so what i did of course was not i'm not going to use this one i made a copy on a bit different paper but oh well <laughs> so i'm going to use this copy and uh, first of all i'm gonna see if i can tear this because oh, <laughs> i can't really fussy cut this really nice i think or can i oh what shall i do well, I can try over here, if I like it, if I tear. Because I want to tear it with a little border around it. Yeah, it's a bit too big for my little hands. <laughs> Will this work or am I going to fussy cut? I think it adds to the charm, the creepy, creepy wolf and creepier little red riding hood. <laughs> this is so creepy. I thought she was going to make me a cute little red riding hood. I think she's going to draw one of those pretty soon as well. So she almost also made me a Alice in Wonderland one, but I think I got it upstairs already. Uh, if I remember, I'm going to leave a card somewhere over here to a video where you can see the Alice in Wonderland that she drew me. It is an amazing picture. Okay, so let me just do the rest real quickly. Here we go. Okay, so if at the end of the video I think nah, I don't really like it before gluing it over here, then I can still fussy cut. It might not be that nice because... Let me show you what uh, I tried yesterday. <laughs> I tried to make a forest. Well, it's not really that bad, but it's not good either. I've never done that, so I just drew some lines and I just made trees. This is what I want to make. So my daughter helped me and she made this forest. That looks better, doesn't it? So I'm going to try to make something like this, but I want the background to be... Well, no, I don't... Uh, I really like the green. I thought I uh, would make it a bit more gray, but I actually like the green. So I'm going to put this over here so I can see what, what I am trying to do. Uh, focus on the trying. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, I don't know where the little one is, so I'm going to take this big sheet. Um, this is a craft sheet that is no longer. <laughs> so I cut off little pieces so I can use it. Isn't that smart? <laughs> I know. Okay, um, paper. Oh, let's take this one. And a pattern, okay, of course, why not? Okay, um, here we go. So first I want to make it green, so that's the easy part. I can do that. I've got my Dilutions paint. I wanted to use my Arteza paint, but I couldn't reach it, so let's just get Dilution paint. Dirty Martini. So I am going to put on my sheet and get a sponge and just sponge this. And it doesn't have to be neat because it is a creepy forest. It can be creepy and not very nice. And it's okay if there are 
you know, smudges and stuff. So that's what I'm doing. So over here it's going to be Little Red Riding Hood, so I don't need to do that too much. Oh, that's nice to figure out where I'm going to put her. She's so creepy. Okay, and I think, clean fingers, I'm going to put her over here so the middle can stay dry. So I don't need to paint um, trees over here. I do need to paint trees over there, so this this bit can be empty. Ha! Huh, that's a few trees I don't have to paint, although they do have to come over here. Oh well. First of all, a green background. So there is a bit of green, wonderful green in this creepy forest. <laughs> Just a little bit. And the rest is gonna be dark and creepy. That's what we're going for. Dark and creepy. <laughs> so let's clean this. Okay, now here we go. So I'm going to start with, and I really need to check, what did she do? <laughs> uh, I don't need this one. I wanted to uh, make the background a bit gray, but make it a bit lighter, but I'm not gonna do that. So I have got Balmy Night and Black Marble. So I'm gonna use these two. And then use a little bit of pink flamingo. Pink flamingo, apparently. Okay. A bit red. Red-ish. <laughs> pink flamingo. That's not the color you expect with a creepy page like this. Look at it. <sighs> okay, here we go. So. I've got my... What was this? This was... Balmy night, but the first ones need to be light. So I'm going to add lots of water. And I'm just going to start over here. So if it doesn't work, it's okay. Because Little Red Riding Hood is going to go over this one. But I kind of like it. Now in the background, they need to be a bit smaller maybe. So like this. This is a tree. As you can see. And that rhymes. So I've got another tree over here, creepy tree, and a tree over here. This is the difficult part, isn't it? <laughs> so far so good. This is just a little cheap brush I bought at the Action. It's a bit, um, a bit flat. And I'm gonna make a tree over here. Now this part is the easy part. I've got way too much paint. I find, oh well. So maybe I'm going to make one or two of these a bit darker, like this one. Make it a bit darker. Right, look at it. Make it a bit bigger as well. Okay. And then what you do is get a bit of paint and actually you need to is that called dry brush? Now this is the hard part. So I'm going to start with the one you don't really see, probably. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm just dabbing on the... Uh, <laughs> on the tree. I wanted to say, well, that's what I'm doing. So not too much paint. So I'm dabbing off lots of paint. And now I'm dabbing over here. And I'm just going to make uh, a tree. It's working. <laughs> Looks a bit like a tree. Hmm, okay, I like it. So I should have started with a one in the background, so I'm gonna do that. It's a bit lighter, but still dry. I'm gonna start with this one. So this can be a bit lighter. So it's this one is in the background. <laughs> what do you think? Is it starting to look like trees? It is a bit, right? I mean, these are the most si the most simple, simplest, simplest trees <laughs> you can make. No, that's not true. These are the simplest you can make. Just a line and a few lines to the side. But to be honest, I like this way better. <laughs> so I'm gonna going to make a few of these gray ones in the background. So once I finish this one. I'm just going to do the rest off camera. So this one I'm not going to do any further because Little Red Riding Hood is going to be over there. So it's no need to do that one further. 
of course over here you can see it <laughs> boy I hope this is gonna work <laughs> but it is nice to do something like this and do something you have never done before because why not have a bit of fun now I'm happy that my daughter showed how to do this because uh, still her tree looks way better than mine <laughs> but it's okay I never do this and she do, does this a lot stuff like this okay what do you think I'm gonna do a bit darker over here again going over this So the rest guys, I'm going to speed up, otherwise it's going to be a long video because I have to make lots of trees. So once I've done this, but you know what, I'm not even going to speed it up, I'm just going to do it off camera. And then I'm going to make some darker trees. So look at what I made. <laughs> awesome, right? I think it's kind of nice. Look at this. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'm going to do a high granny somewhere. We'll just find out. So now I'm going to make some creepy dark trees. Uh, so I'm gonna get my black marble and um, oh, wait a minute just a second. Okay I got interrupted. Uh, our kitty cat jumped on some boxes that I still have in my kitchen and on top of one of them was an empty bag. So if you hear some weird crackling noises it's our cat sitting on a plastic bag. <laughs> Okay, creepy trees. Oh, creepy background sounds. <laughs> I've got some black marble. Now this I need to have nice and dark, I think. So not too much water. And, oh my gosh, just go over it. I just go over it. So there's going to be a dark tree over here. Oh, uh, it's really dark. And there's going to be a dark tree right over here. Such a weird cat. And another dark tree on the edge of the paper. A high one all the way up. And one, I don't know, over here. So these are bigger because they are closer. And a dark one over here. Something like this. Will this be what I want? <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I think this is it, so mm. there needs to be a dark tree behind her as well, so over here, a very dark one. Okay, let's start with this one, and here we go again, let's make it a really nice dark tree, hmm, nice. <laughs> What do you think? Ooh, okay. I'm gonna do the rest and um, speed it up or just let <laughs> not film it at all. Well, I think the decision will be made for, for me because my battery is flashing. What else is new? I always have that. <laughs> I need new batteries because these just don't last that long anymore. Okay. What do you think? Is this a creepy forest or a creepy forest? So this needs to be bigger. These branches. I want more. These trees need to have more branches. Creepy and very dark. <laughs> okay. So let's keep filming until my battery just thinks, you know, that was it. It. And over here, I think I'm gonna make it dark. Just the whole forest floor is gonna be dark. Look at this. This is a creepy forest. Now, to be honest, if I put this over it, it would have been nice if there was a an open clearing somewhere over here. But oh well. Look at this. Creepy, right? So I think I want to sponge these edges. Can I do that with my brush? Hmm. Yes, I can. Make it look a bit more creepy because it was just 
it's too neat, don't you think? Look, it's just a slight difference, but it is better. So I'm just gonna sponge this with my brush. So brush it actually. <laughs> okay, so I need to be careful that my fingers aren't uh, covered in paint. So I made it a bit darker over it. Ah, that looks way better. That's so creepy. Maybe I'm just gonna leave a little bit over here, which is weird because then it is like her body is torn off. But it's a creepy page anyway. So what I do want to do now <laughs> is get a little bit of pink flamingo in here because you know why not? <laughs> that sounds really weird because this is such a happy color. But what I want to do is get a little bit of this. Mix it a bit with black and then make these creepy, creepy red bushes over here. <laughs> and a bit over here and a bit over here. Just some little red accents to make it a little bit more creepy somehow. I don't know what this is, some kind of plant that grows over here. I have no idea. But it I do like it. So these branches do have a little blood red in it. <laughs> Creepy! <laughs> I do like it. <laughs> okay, a bit more. So I'm gonna make the trees um, red, black, black, red. It's a weird color for a tree, but uh, why not? And also a bit to the side. Let's see the difference. What I like better. Well, what I like better is, is what it is now. So this is a bit red. This is... I'm just going to add a little bit more. I do like it. So these trees. <laughs> this is such a weird page. I do like the forest floor like this. Look at this. Okay, I like it. So I'm gonna do, in this only light spot that I have, I'm gonna do a little bit more of this red. Which is now actually black. Okay. <laughs> a bit more over here. Make this a bit more creepy. This a bit darker. That's it. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, now when I glue this on, I need to dry it first. Am I going to put a high granny somewhere? I do like it. But how? I don't have that as a quote because apparently no one says that. Did I say nanny? I meant granny, of course. <laughs> I think I said nanny. <laughs> anyway, um, I need to figure out if I have stamps or... My brush is really nice by, by now. Look at it. I'm not sure if I can get this right again, but oh well. Uh, so, well, <laughs> I'm going to see if I have something that I can use. Maybe some loose letters that I can use. And I'm going to leave this to dry. So, and clean this. Be right back. Okay, I found this um, CD. It's by CDs. Um, <laughs> It is very old. I have no idea how long I've had this for years and years. It is falling apart and I've never used it, but I think these letters can be a bit creepy. So, where am I gonna put this? I'm just gonna try this out on a piece of paper. Um, I think this is it. So let me get a block where I can put this H on. And um, I think this is stamping cushion. I'm not sure if I can use... I should have made this dark and creepy like this. Or maybe it's nice if it pops. I'm just gonna get a rose red. I'm not sure if this is the right color, but I'm gonna try it. It's by stamping up and it is like a this. 
Okay, so let's do the eye. <laughs> this might be really nice. So I'm going to clean the stamp and get the new one out. Uh, it might not be really straight, but to be honest, that's not too bad because it is a creepy page, so it's okay if it's a bit... Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Hi. And I'm gonna do Granny separately because... Um, then I can tear them both. So I'm gonna stamp this first. Here we go. Okay, so I've got Hi Granny. Took me a while to get it right. <laughs> Let's put these to the side. Um, now what? Now I think I'm going to tear it. My fingers are a bit clean, yes. And I need to make it a bit darker, I think. Ah, yeah. Of course it's not dry yet. <laughs> Let's dry it first. Yeah, let's hope that does it, because my thumb was getting red. <laughs> let's clean it in between every now and then. Okay, here we go. Still a bit, a bit smudgy, but oh well. I hope this is going to be nice. I've got this one. This is an old diamond painting uh, thing. This is where my, my diamond ca painting came in. It was wrapped around this and I use it for this. It's really handy. So if you diamond paint, don't throw it out. It's very handy. So here we go. A little red <laughs> Creepy. Now am I going to put this somewhere? I can put her a bit to the side. Like this. And then... Hi, Granny. Oh, I do like it, but this needs to be sponged. So I need a sponge. And black ink. <laughs> okay, I do like it. And let's sponge this. It needs to pop a little bit, so I don't want it to be too dark. Maybe I'm gonna go around uh, Little Red Riding Hood as well. And then I need to glue it on and then it's finished. No dots, no borders, nothing like that. What? <laughs> Let's glue the lot down. Okay. This is a creepy Little Red Riding Hood. Now, if you didn't know, this is the story of Little Red Riding Hood is over 2000 years old. I'm gonna do it like this. And uh, it used to be uh, most of the, all the stories are with a tiger because they, uh, it's, it comes from the Orient, I think. And um, <laughs> over here, it turned into a wolf because we don't have tigers over here, pew. But creepy wolves and um, the first stories are gruesome, like most fairy tales are. They are so gruesome. But to be honest, the story is gruesome. The wolf is gruesome, and not the Little Red Riding Hood. It's a cute little girl or a little woman, a young woman. You know, don't go walking with strangers. <laughs> uh, that was the storyline. If you go with strangers, bad things happen. But uh, they used to tell it a bit more gruesome gruesome than they do now but over here it's not the story it's not the wolf it is little red riding hood and the wolf actually they're both very creepy although i don't think the wolf is still alive i don't know is it oh it is so creepy <laughs> look at it but look at the forest guys it is a really creepy forest and i made it myself this is by nortje the rest is by me isn't it awesome? And isn't she creepy? Look at that wolf. And then she comes to Granny's house 
you know, cute little Red Riding Hood. And she turns evil and she says, Hi, Granny. <laughs> or in a creepy way. I can't say that in a creepy way. Hi, Granny. Creepy. Just, just you try it. And make it sound creepy. That's what she's saying. <laughs> it's a weird page. I love it. So, of course, I would love to know what you think of this wonderful page and of this creepy ri little Red Riding Hood. And the creepy wolf. Now, of course, this is all Noortje. So give her a lots of love in the comments down below because it's insane. But guys, I did make a forest. I never did that. I mean, it is a bit better than this. <laughs> it is, right? It, it needed to be dark and creepy. And it is. And uh, I think I did this very nice as well. <laughs> and the rest is all Noortje. <laughs> but... I would love to know what you think of it. And you know the drill. I would love it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And hit the notification bell. And if you don't, I'll send Little Red Riding Hood to your house. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's just so weird. Okay, up close again. Look at those trees. Aren't they awesome? <laughs> okay, that's it for today, guys. I think I'm going to lock my doors now. <laughs> uh, all that's left to say is... Groetjes uit Holland. Greetings from Holland and a creepy forest. Bye.